Hey Glamvam, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be making a welcome sign. I got this for 99 cents on sale. So I'm super excited because if I were to go to my local Home Depot, I would have paid more. Okay, so to get started, we are going to paint this bad boy. Shake, shake, shake. And we are going to paint it black. Now a sign like this one can run anywhere from $20 to $60. Alright, so next I'm going to get on my Cricut and I'm going to get the words that I need for the sign. And then we are going to send it to cut. This part is my absolute favorite, the weeding. The weeding can be so satisfying. So we're just going to weed out what we do not need. And then we're going to use a transfer paper to put them onto the board. So this is my roll. I am going to use a small piece of it because I like to reuse. So I'm not going to cut like a big portion to cover the entire thing. I'm going to be covering a few of the letters and then I'm going to reuse the bits and pieces that I've used before. Transfer paper is on. I'm just ensuring that they stick to the transfer paper. And then after that, I am going to cut the letters. I'm going to fit them onto the board just to kind of, I'm gonna eyeball this. I It would be best to use something to measure, but since it is my home, I can do whatever I want, but it would be best to measure because then if it's not straight or if it doesn't go on the way you want it to, me personally, it would bother me. So it's best honestly to use something to measure and line up what it is that you're doing, but I'm just going to be eyeballing so right now i'm going to be cutting the letters and then placing them on here and hope that everything that i wrote can actually fit on here okay so it's looking good so far so the next step is to ensure that it's sticking to the board and then that's what we're gonna do for the rest I'm gonna speed this part up so you guys won't get bored and then you'll stick around to the end of the video.
look so this is what it looks like when it's completed but then at the bottom like uh, the on seems off to me does it seem off to you guys it does and if it's off it's going to bother me and so i'm gonna go in <laughs> and i'm going to try and fix it i don't know but it, it just seems a little bit off i'm gonna try and fix it and then i'll come back and and we'll see what it looks like but if it, it was off and so i'm gonna fix it so that looks better that looks better i mean a man on a riding horse cannot see it but that does look better all right so this is what i had at the door before i made this one ever since we bought the house this was what we got and then it fell it broke and it was sitting there on the floor and i needed to repair or to just get a new one i knew what i was gonna do so it's broken it was just sitting on the floor so Here's the new one out. I'm not placing it there as yet because I do have another video that I'm working on for the whole um, front door, front porch makeover. So if you stick around for that one, you'll get to see the new welcome sign there. I think it looks pretty good. I saved myself mm, $59 maybe. Wow! Yeah, because these do run a little bit pricey. You can dress it up if you'd like. As I said in the intro, it has been a staple in the decorating industry. So here it is from Street View. If you're passing the house, that's what you would see. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. <laughs>